Today's lesson is how to divide by multiples of 10 or more cheating with zeros. Yay! All right, for this activity, you're going to need a calculator. So that could be a calculator on your computer or an iPad, iPod, phone, or just a good old old school calculator. So get a calculator and press pause. All right, hopefully you're back with your calculator. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set out a pattern and I want you to figure out what the missing number is in this pattern by using your calculator. Go ahead and figure out this pattern and press pause now. All right, with your calculators, or maybe even doing some mental math, you most likely came up with the following answers. Give yourself a pat on the back if you did. Now, we're gonna make it a little trickier. With your calculator, solve the following problems. Press pause now. All right, you most likely came up with the following answers. Now, you might be looking at that kind of going, but, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, and I just found a boo-boo. This should really be a three. There we go. So all of these are threes and all of these are thirties. So it's kind of like, well, these are the same and these are the same and these are the same, but I started with the same dividend. All I did was change my divisor to have a zero in it and it totally changed things up. So how might you describe this pattern? It looks like if we take the three and we make it a 30, our answer, our quotient, loses a zero. So it looks like if I'm dividing by greater powers of 10, that my answer, my quotient, has one less power of 10 or one less zero in it. Hmm, let's take a look at some more. For the following problems, I want you to very, very lightly write down what you think the answer is going to be and then check with the calculator to see if you were right. Write your final answer on the line. Press pause now. Did you get the following answers? 6, 60, 600, and 6,000. What's going on with all these zeros? Well, we can use a basic fact to at least figure out one of the digits. Forget about the zeros, and in each fact, we're left with 42 divided by 7 equals 6. And that's why we have a 6 as the beginning digit for each of our Quotients. Remember, quotient is the answer to a division problem. But what about the zeros? What seems to be the pattern here? With multiplication, we would count up all of the zeros in the two numbers that we started with and just tack them on the ends of our answer. That doesn't seem to be the case here. So what is going on? Let's take a look. In that last problem, 4,200,000 divided by 700 Let's take a look at our fast fact, and then we can deal with the zeros later. So I think of a fast color as like red. So our fast fact is 42 divided by seven. That would be six. Now we need to deal with these zeros. So what seems to be the pattern? It's almost as if these two zeros from our divisor, which is the number that we are dividing by, kind of cancel out two zeros over here. And now we're left with one, two, three zeros left to place. And is that our answer? Yes, our answer is 6,000. Okay, so that's a neat little trick. Some might call it math magic. Why does it work? 
because my teacher taught it to me and it's really cool and it works and somehow I get the right answer? Eh, wrong. We need to understand. But why? Well, we can think of it this way. Let's try it out on a problem that's a little bit more natural to understand, like 280 divided by 40. Okay, well, math magic would tell us that these zeros cancel each other out and we just have 28 divided by 4, which is 7. Why do they cancel out? Well, think about it. If 28 divided by 4 is 7, for a basic fact, then that would mean that if I had 28 $10 bills, which would be $280, and I divided it into groups of four tens or groups of 40, 28 divided by four is still seven. 28 ones divided by four ones is seven. 28 tens divided by four tens is the same as seven. So that would also mean that 4,200,000 divided by 700 is the same as, thinking about it, as 42,000 hundreds divided by seven hundreds. In this case, I used hundreds because that's what I started here with the divisor. It's seven hundreds. So how many hundreds do I have over here? That's why I take away those last two zeros to find out how many hundreds there are. In other words, if I were to go to the bank with $4,200,000 in $1 bills, and I said to the teller, hey, can I get these in hundreds instead? The teller would give me $42,000 bills. So that's what we're talking about here. It always makes more sense when you're talking about money. It's the same value. I've just changed it in for a different bill. So let's try some. I call this section rainbow math because we are gonna do an example problem for every color of the rainbow. But fear not, we can use mental math and cheating with zeros. Here they are, red through purple. So what I want you to do is try your best to solve these on your own. Numbers five and six are tricky because we're working with algebra, solving for n. All the rest, though, just writing the answer. You do need to copy the problems and show any crossing out of zeros or placing of zeros that you might do. That's how you can show your work, is by crossing out the zeros that cancel each other out and showing that you're placing the remaining zeros there. And then I'm here for help if you need it. So. Go ahead and copy down these problems, work them the best that you can, and then you can click play again when you're ready to check your answers or when you're ready to get an explanation if you got stumped. Press pause now. Let's start with red. 270 divided by 30. Okay, well, I've got some crossing out to do. I know that this is like 27 tens divided by three tens. So I can cross out those tens, zeros, and now I'm left with 27 divided by three, and that would be nine. Final answer. Orange, 360 divided by 60. Well, I've got some crossing out to do again. Hey, I'm just left with a basic fact. 36 divided by six equals six. Final answer. Okay, our next one. Hmm, I've got a 70. So I do have a multiple of 10. So I can cross out the factor of 10s there. Now I'm left with 630 10s divided by 7 10s. Mm, this is getting messy. Maybe I should look at my fast fact. 63 divided by 7. Well, I know that. 
that's nine. And I've got one more zero left to place. So my answer is 90. Final answer. And now for our last non-algebra problem. Got some crossing out to do. So this is like 800 tens divided by four tens. Uh, I've got zeros and zeros are messy. So let me do my fast fact first. Eight divided by four. That would be two. And then I have one, two zeros left to place in my quotient. So this one is 200. All right, what about these algebra problems? 250 divided by something is five. Well, I noticed that in my quotient there aren't any zeros. So how many groups would I have to divide this, these 250 M&Ms into in order for there to be five M&Ms in each group? I'm solving for N, so at least I can set up my answer. N equals something. Okay, so now I can kind of work backwards. If N was a number that had a zero at the end, I could cross that out and cross out the zero in my dividend too. Hmm, so what if I look at my fast fact and then deal with those zeros later? My fast fact would be 25 divided by something equals five. Well, that would be five. Now, do I have any zeros to place? Hmm, if I just did 250 divided by five, I'd have 25 divided by five is five and I'd have a zero to place, that's 50. Ugh, that's too much. I want five at the end, not 50. So maybe one of these zeros needs to be over here in my divisor. What if I tried 250 divided by 50? Eliminate those zeros and I've got the right answer. So that means N, that number was 50. And what about number six? Well, maybe I should start by simplifying or solving what's in the parentheses. 700 divided by 70. I can do that. Eliminate those zeros. Now I have 70 divided by 7 is 10. 10 plus n equals 15. In other words, 10 plus something equals 15. Hmm. In that case, n equals 5. See, you can solve a tough algebra problem that looks very complicated. You can figure it out. So that's it for our rainbow math today. And that's it for how to divide by multiples of 10 or another fascinating episode of, yet again, cheating with zeros. Good day.